wrong in a minute. That's all right. I am calling this meeting of the Deerfield Senior Housing Ad Hoc Committee to order. <laughs> it is 731 and we have a quorum at last. Um, and it is uh, March 16th, all day today. And I would like to share with the world at large that meetings that are normally held at municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative public access, means of public access, and where required, public participation provided in accordance with Chapter 107 of the Acts of 2022, which extended the governor's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, Mass General Laws, Chapter 30A, Section 20, until March 31st, 2023. Meetings are typically broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television, and you can always find the link on the town website in the agenda for the Ad Hoc Senior Housing Committee. All right, um, so this meeting is called to order at 7.31. And members present, Carolyn Ness? Yes. Anna Lee Wolfcool? Present. Why doesn't, why doesn't my computer automatically <laughs> spell your name correctly? <laughs> You are going to have to come in here and fix me. Um, and Lily Dwight, um, absent is Pam Predmore. I have texted her, but there was no answer, and I hope everything's okay. Yeah, I hope Thank so. Thank you, Annalie. Annalie's on the case now. Um, so I would entertain a motion regarding the minutes from our meeting of March 9th. I will make that motion. To accept them? Yes. Okay. As I written. Second. Okay. Annalie seconded. All those in favor? I, Lily. I, Annalie. Carolyn. All right. Unanimous. All right. Um, uh, so I'm going to update you on the CPC application. Um, I submitted our revisions. And they were not reviewed in the CPC meeting because we were addressing the 1888 building, which um, is pretty complicated. But then also, apparently, there were other applications that had not been, they've not been posted. None of them have been posted except for the senior housing one. Um, and neither were they emailed to Alan or the committee. So they, although they were submitted on time, they never didn't make it to us until last night. So there's a, oh. there's a um, couple of other ones. None of them are huge, but um, they, so, so people generally felt seemed to be very comfortable with our application because we had done such a, you know, a level of specificity. And I did assure them that we had addressed the concept of older adults as a uh, threatened resource <laughs> for our town. <laughs> so anyway, everybody will is expected to review them. Our next meeting is March 29th, which is actually nine days after the warrant closes. But um, I guess our chair is going to submit holding articles. So we'll know more, but I, I'm not anticipating any problems. People generally think that this is a really good idea and it is absolutely worthy of funding. So Tonight, we were going to be talking about outreach efforts. And um, what I would love to do is just spend 15 minutes brainstorming on ways to effectively reach people in town. Um, and I think that there's a couple of things going on and we should figure out how we wanna, how we wanna be associated. There needs to be a significant outreach effort around the whole municipal campus. Yeah. And the complete neighborhoods people um, who are coming out for a site visit, I think the first week in April, um, are going to, I 
believe going to be able to work with the town on um, on outreach. They are going to be hosting a full um, CCI group meeting for brainstorming followed by a large public session. Probably won't happen before town meeting though. Yeah, but I don't think it really needs to happen at to town meeting, do you think? Well, <clears throat> probably not because the 1888 building application has made it in on time and been accepted as an application, but the committee agreed to delay its review and recommendation to town meeting mm -hmm. until the special town meeting um, sometime later in August or whenever we have our special town meeting. Uh, we probably want to wait till uh, free cash is certified. So it'd be after mid September. Okay. So that's, so <clears throat> that is the, that is going to be a complicated and large conversation. So it's not going to happen at this town meeting, which means there'll be senior for CPC money, there's senior housing, there's a bike path feasibility study. There's a um, um, document restoration request kind of a thing, which is 700 bucks sort of a thing. So um, I don't think there'll be big drama before town meeting for any of this. But I do think that we need to start getting out there regardless and the question of whether we do it in conjunction with the municipal campus promotion or we do it independent of it i don't think we can be completely independent of it and i'm tell i'll tell you that my thought for meeting with the um, south deerfield women's club was to say that we're looking at putting senior housing in that campus or in close proximity to that campus, you know, everything's still fluid, but that um, that it that that's where it's going to be cited and that the Connecting Community Initiative was created to um, create this campus concept and coordinate all of the committees around it and stuff like that. So to talk about CCI, and the the campus and we literally have five minutes and i think that that's going to be it unless you all think of it just it's mostly to say we are working it'll be coming up in town meeting and um i, I would say yeah literally five minutes because we haven't i mean there you know what we're doing senior housing, but we haven't done, I mean, we don't have any drawings. We don't even have the place yet. Okay. Right. You know, so, say, yeah. so you just need to talk about it and then, you know, um, tell them the potential timeline we're moving on it and you know, it's mm -hmm. happening. Uh, we've done, the, we've done this, this, and this. I think that's important because people, you know, these things have to get done before you go to the next step. But people don't even realize that. So if you talk about what you've done, it'll take literally two minutes. But I think it's important to outline what has already happened, That's and um, and what's in what's in progress is this. You know, we're wrapping up the feasibility site study, and then you know we put it together and it goes out to get hopefully financing. Um, so that's really important. But then I, I think. You know, every time you talk about something, it's good. You got to repeat yourself a hundred times. You know that. And if you repeat yourself enough, it doesn't even matter if it's true or not. Everyone <laughs> evidently, so, yeah. evidently. So we just keep repeating this, and then you don't have to worry about it. But um, I think again, you just open up for a few minutes, outline what's been done, what is going to be done. Yeah. And next steps, like a kind of next steps, you know, mm -hmm. so it's not too complicated, very simple bullets, and then open it up for questions for a couple of minutes. That's it. Because yeah. people are going to say, well, is this really going to happen? Is it going to look like Sunderland's? And, and we say at this point, we don't know if it's going to be like Sunderland's. It very well could be connected 
to the back end of the church and come out that way, but it could be further up. It could be further down. You know, it could be connect with a senior center. We we don't know what the financing is going to get up, get us. Right, that's what you talk about. You know what what is the unknown? Right, Today, what we don't know. And I think we also stress that working with HRA RDI as they did in Sunderland. The goal is to have it not impact the taxpayer at all and to end up with a piece of property that actually pays taxes. Absolutely. And that's what you end with yep. in your little timeline that yep. this is not a taxpayer funded um, you know, project. It will, yep. you know, it's going to go through RDI potentially. And um, just like Sunderland's. And you know, Sunderland invested a minimal amount, Deerfield's investing a minimal amount. What's going to happen? Yeah. And, and you know, the only, you know, the question is going to be, is there deal for, deer fill uh, preference? Priority, yeah. And, and you're going to say, yes, we actually figured out ways that you can have a preference just like they did in Sunderland. Mm -hmm. And it will be a lottery system just like they did in Sunderland, which is the most fair. I'll say it's a Massachusetts law. Too, well, so it's it not, you say most fair. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, okay, you know, so that's the women's club. Um, anything else that we should think about um, that would be? The problem is there's not really any more clubs per se. Right. Um, you know, there's like, I don't know if the Lions Club meets all that much anymore. Um, uh I'm just trying to think of what other group do we have any other social groups in town well especially after covid everybody's just like in their houses <laughs> well still people are i think you know, in a way maybe what we could be thinking about is once the weather gets good that you know we had that ice cream social and it didn't didn't get that much of a turnout but um You know, you you could do something with you could right. You could do something with we could do something with in conjunction with the library. And the library is part of the site. Yeah, you know, have some stuff going on. You know, in the better weather, I know on Founders Day, Deerfield's Founders Day, which is the first weekend in May, the library is going to do some kind of storytelling, and the you know we'll hopefully have bell ringing at the little church there, and um, so you know maybe we have. You know, a ten minute. We we try to do it in conjunction with other events, and this would be like three fiftieth event, a library event, and and we just do a little. You know, have we have our stand up? You know, yeah. we'll have to have some kind of stand up. The trifold thing. Or trifold thing, and we just do five minutes. Yeah. What's the, what's the date of What's the date of that? Um, it's the first weekend in May. Let me tell you, it's um. May well, I'm not sure if it's May 5th or May 6th. Um, I think they're trying to do it on May 5th, which is a Friday, so that the kids can come over from the elementary school. But if that doesn't work, it's going to be on May 6th. It's a it's a Founders Day event. Um, so we could okay. So here's my ignorance. What's Founders Day? When is Deerfield, it? Uh what is it? It's the official incorporation of Deerfield. Uh, so I they're going to have kids with when you have 350 kids you're going to have parents so it's going to be 350 kids coming over to ring bells and so I think you know it's a it's an audience that we normally wouldn't get and yeah. uh, and and you already went to the senior center so that's a really good thing to do once or twice yeah I gotta um, do that again because I, I mean I did the senior center for the survey but um, I think Pam Pam has confirmed that we will be going to the senior center as well. Okay. Well, yeah. if the senior center, you see the senior center, you could go every like every quarter. Hmm. You could go for just as an informational update. Yeah. 15, fifteen or twenty minutes update, and then answer questions, and and it would literally be fifteen minutes because you know you're just doing an update. But yeah. The idea again, you're just repeating that 
Yeah, I just have to, I mean, because I'm, you know, working Amherst, so. Know. Um, <laughs> it's wicked bad. I know. It's hard. It's hard. Um, but they might be outsourcing the IT department, so then I'll be unemployed, and I'll be able to make, I'll be able to go around and beat a drum. <laughs> Are you going to be getting unemployment insurance for that? <laughs> they better. For, for beating a drum? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I hope it isn't true, but uh, I mean, it's what it looks wow, like it's going to happen. Really, so, really? Wow. Yeah. That doesn't seem that would be cost effective when on a, from a. It doesn't, does it? But anyway. Um, all right. So we, I like the Founders Day event. That would be really cool. Well, it's a different, a different crowd. Yeah. We like to get the, the, parents the younger parents because especially for them to know what's going on and mm -hmm. with the vision I, I think it would be you know it's the kind of thing that you could just set up a table and you know you have two minutes yeah. or five minutes, something like that and you just say something and you need to be able to hand stuff out candy yeah. or something like that yeah it, and if you can't go Lily, i will do it because i i have to be there anyway so okay well, we, we should think about tchotchkes for, we don't actually have a tchotchke budget, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the finance committee would approve of a tchotchke oh, budget. Oh, they give me a hard time about my, you know, selectman's salary, but that's what I use my selectman salary for. So I'll get, I'll get, we can get something to hand out. Uh, well, it would be, it would be cool, wouldn't it? We get those little... <laughs> We could get little statues of little old ladies. <laughs> oh, Lily. <laughs> I'm not handing those out. <laughs> I'll hand out candy or something. <laughs> I just can't. We will do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we man. Get, oh, we can get bobblehead little old ladies. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, you know how like those those little plastic false teeth they're about to speak <laughs> <laughs> oh. like the chattering ones <laughs> yeah 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 right. oh. All right. well i think that this is a start i like this founders day event idea we're going to do the senior center we're going to do the south deerfield women's club and um those will give us experience and and help us to um know well, yeah. how to think, yeah what what, what 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 we need to do is to just figure out what kind of questions people are going to have right. and be prepared to answer them. And and after one or two times, that will I mean, really you know, help. Your field preference is this, yeah. you know, and taxes, <laughs> taxes, right? So you, okay. you kind of know what some of the stuff is, but you, this way, if you do constant updates, then people number one they think it's going to happen. Number yeah. two it it reinforces that there is movement and that you need them to come to town meeting for something whatever and you know for support maybe and um you know so that's the kind of thing that's good, good. in my it mind yeah okay well excellent so that's a start um does anybody have any new business that we didn't anticipate 48 hours ago um so the next meeting is scheduled for next Thursday. Um, and I actually don't know. Been so we've been so focused on our CPC application and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's plan on meeting and we'll have it just be a CPC update and um okay. if anybody can think of anything else, but I it could be a very short meeting because until um berkshire design can get in and um finish the wetlands delineation i did oh i did at the request of this committee ask if um anybody could if we could find the money to pay the architects or anybody would they be willing to start on a promise and the answer was no <laughs> So it was more like no they just literally can't put us in their schedule no 
until like August or something. So, but what I think I will do is I will contact Rachel and say um, that we, we're going to have the full support of the CPC and the select board and everybody. So please put us on their calendar and we will have the money right after town meeting, which It'll is be available July 1st. It'll be available July. Money, well, if it's, I wonder if they'll be willing to, so I'll talk to her. Like if it's voted on in town meeting. Actually, uh, until July 1st. Right, because it's CPC. We have it. We have it. We have and it's it CPC money. Right. So just ver. okay, I'll verify with Brenda. Let me write this down. Yeah, please do. I'll verify with Brenda that CPC money is available. Right, as soon as it's voted. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's already in the bank. Yeah, it's in the bank. Because that would be awesome. And yeah, that would be that's, great that's April 24th. So there's a difference between April 24th and July 1st. Right. Yes, ma'am. Um, 60 days at least. Well, and you want to get in the queue because... Right. You know, so that's what I'm going to I'll tell her is that please to be in touch with the architects and everybody to say that this is this is what we're doing and I'll um, update her on the idea of potentially purchasing property and ask her about um, you know how much more it would cost to expand some of the work now they since they won't have done the geothermal and stuff yet you know what I mean so it's not like we thrown anything away you haven't heard anything about the geothermal grant have you no when I was I was just talking to my dog about that yesterday I said why haven't we heard anything yet that was supposed to be already out yeah I thought we were supposed to hear in January or February February I think February I think but this is yeah, mid this is March mid-March all right I'm gonna put another note geothermal yeah, that's probably more useful to ask you than to ask my dog. <laughs> yeah, but um, well, I mean, I'm still waiting for our, C, you know, our conservation district grant, and it was supposed to be here in December, then January, then February, and here it is March. So I don't know where that is. We're missing our window, so we just had to vote. We voted to do our yard by yard. So come to G April. Eighth, win a book, win consulting, win plants. April eighth. Yep, April eighth, two to four, at the town hall. And it's going to be about um, Owen Wormser is going to give a talk on how to um, make your yards more, um, you know, climate resilient. Wonderful. And, yeah, we're giving out all kinds of stuff. You know, and his consulting, free consulting. You might win free consulting for your yard. Wow, I'd love that. You know, um, with, from two to four, you said? Yeah. Because um, we, Byron and, and I- And you could be a winner. Out. There's all kinds of gifts. Yeah. And it's only going to be the people, you know, that you show come up. in that show up are going to be in the pot. So you might and, really and, win. And where is this going to be, Carolyn? Um, at the town hall. Okay, cool. Yep. Very cool. Um, I'll be there because we've been talking about trying to turn our front lawn into a meadow anyway, and um, they haven't well, been able to. He'll tell you how to do it. it. He'll tell you what plants to plant, and um, and you could win plants. You could win consulting or his book. We're giving out all book. We're we bought twenty five books. Wow, I'll be there. Me so, too. Yeah, me too. So you Excellent. can walk walk away with a book. At a minimum, I don't know how many people are going to come. So, <laughs> well, hopefully, a lot of people. I All right. So. Um, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay. I make that motion, Carolyn. Uh, second. All those in favor? I, Lily. I, Carolyn. Finally. All right. We adjourned at 7 56. All right. <laughs>